Hello, my name is Edith Young. I'm a SharePoint user adoption enthusiast who strives to improve business processes by educating users on out-of-box SharePoint options. I also concentrate on bringing awareness to the SharePoint platform and how it can play a part in continued process improvement as a collaboration tool. Today, I'm going to talk about the importance of views on lists and libraries. On my screen here, you can see that I have the ESPC demo. What we're going to be looking for and exposing today is data in SharePoint. Data in SharePoint in 2013 comes down to two basic elements, searching and views. Views are commonly overlooked by users who are becoming familiar with SharePoint 2013. Views are often thought of as being one-dimensional when in fact they are a major component for improving the, the effectiveness of apps in the platform. Using views, Users can create general or specific purposes of the content in lists and libraries. Simply defined, views are a presentation of data from an underlying list or library. Views can limit how much data is presented at one time through filters, thresholds, or column selection. They can arrange the data through sort order and group settings. Views can also format the data to be presented using different visual layouts to match the needs of the users consuming the data. So we have different types of views. To be able to look at views, if you click on your list and you say you want to create a new view, you get taken back into the settings for the view types. So SharePoint provides four basic types of views. Here in this video, you can see that there is the standard view, this is the, da the view data on a web page. You can choose from a list of display, display styles, which is the setting behind this type of view. There is the calendar view. And the view data is a daily, weekly, or monthly calendar are your options to see your data sliced and diced there. The data sheet view, the view data in an editable spreadsheet format that is convenient for bulk editing and quick customization is another option. And then finally, we have the Gantt view. This list, or this view is popularly used when people are running a project. It allows you to list items in a Gantt chart to see a graphical representation of how a team's tasks relate over time. So the use of columns and metadata for views is a big, important part of getting your views to work correctly. Each view that is created or modified uses columns to display the metadata. So let me just take you into an existing view already. So we're going to go into our all promoted links view here. Actually, I'm going to skip that, come back out to the demo, home site, and go into modify this view. We're currently looking at the all promoted links view here and you can see that I've added multiple columns that are associated with this view. Columns are the one, are, well they're the core element of all views. They are what allow different types of sorting or grouping. So the sorting and grouping takes place halfway down the page in this area here. This is where you can sort. And additionally, they also help with searching when you're looking for the content within your list or your library. What you need to keep in mind is that it's crucial that site owners think of a big picture when creating and adding columns to a list or library you want to first check to see if the column is available under your site columns area. If it's not the appropriate type of column, that's when you would create your custom column. So for instance, in this site, I created something that was called a site type. Well, it's actually for this, this type of, of list. So this is a site type. And what I did is I used a choice column. And you'll see how when I go out of this, that choice column has these 
selections of search, news, or social. This helps maintain consistency and it helps to prevent redundancies when individuals are trying to add further information and slice and dice their data within their list or their library. So how do you access views? What are the ways to be able to create them? Well, SharePoint, as everybody knows, has multiple ways of doing everything. So within SharePoint 2013, the ability to access, create, or modify different views can be done in the following ways. The first is through the view menu. The view menu are these three ellipses here, and that is directly to the left of the search box. So if we go ahead and we click on that three ellipses, we can go in and we can see that we also have social and ties as other types of views to choose from. So for instance, if we click on the all promoted links and we want to say, well, let's edit that. We can go in and modify this view here. It takes us to the settings and the edit view area behind the list. And then we can scroll down, and this is where I may want to go ahead and add an additional column that I would want included with my metadata to be able to help search for my content in this list. In this matter, we're going to go ahead and just select the created by option. When we scroll down, we need to make sure that we are going to save this, so we click on OK. And now when we are in this all promoted links view, you can see that the created by has been added and my name is associated. If we switch over to the news view, this looks a little different. This is more of a tile view and all you will see are the tiles that are associated with it. To get back to the other view, I can click again on the list tab and I can come up here to the ribbon. In the ribbon is an option to modify this view, or I could create another view from here. Additionally, I can also change the view of where I'm currently at. So we're on the news tile view. So by clicking on the drop down, we can go back and we can see all of the tiles that are associated with this specific list. And here you can see I have Bing, MSNBC, Facebook, Twitter, and Google. They're all very popular, all very much used at a lot of different companies. When we click on the list tab again, we could also create another view from here. Additionally, um, views are very popular because when it comes to looking for and exposing data, the content in your list or library doesn't have to be categorized in a folder for users to locate. They can take advantage of the metadata, which is the columns in a list or library that have been added to only see the content that is pertinent to them. So I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope that this video helps you understand views and lists and libraries better. And take care. Until next time.